try something that's new and sparkling. Talladega Nights, the latest no-brainer from the team that brought you Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. It's got, the tagline is very funny. It's got a picture of Will Ferrell, who I believe was on the programme the other day. Ferrell or Ferrell? What did he say? Uh, well, I wasn't here because I was coming back from America. Oh, I beg I your pardon. Will, I think it's Ferrell. Anyway, Carry so on. Will Ferrell or Pharrell on the poster, a picture of him wearing a uh, racing car outfit, and the tagline is, the story of a man who could only count to one, which is quite funny, you know. That's quite good. Quite number like one, that. fine, boom, boom. So he stars the NASCAR racing driver Ricky Bobby, who meets his match in a French racing car driver, interested in jazz, gay, and played by Sacha Baron Cohen. Now, Sacha Baron Cohen is best known here, I suppose, as Ali G. He's also the voice of the, uh, of the, of the, the king leader in... Um, What's it called? What's that animation film that's now my brain? You know, Over the Hedge? No, not that one. The other one. That Snow I, White, The Seven Dwarfs? No, the one that Over the Hedge desperately wanted to be with the anim Madagascar. The Madagascar. He plays the head of the little creatures in it. And he does lots of sort of funny accents. Anyway, he is the funniest thing in the film. Like all of these Will Ferrell movies, and I felt the same way about Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, all the best gags are in the trailer. If you've seen the trailer... You've seen all the best jokes. In fact, funnily enough, there is a version of a joke that was going to be the end of that clip in the trailer, which is done better in the trailer. The gag I'm is... I'm sure you would do it. I'll do it, OK? So my impression of Sasha Baron Cohen doing an impression of... Well, you were at school together, so... There yeah, I didn't a... know him. He was many years below me. Oh, okay, you know? so... I mean, I didn't know any of the people I went to school with because, of course, I didn't have any friends, as we all know. You just sat but in a room on your own. I did, yeah. I was at school with Pete Bradshaw. I was at school with Dave Badil. I was at school with Sasha Baron Cohen. It was still the guy in the corner. Anyway... Uh, he says, yes, uh, France versus America. America has given us George Bush. France has given you the ménage à trois. And in the trailer, he says, game over. In the film, he doesn't actually say that. It's obviously a different take, because as with all these things, what they do is they get the comedy performers in front of the camera. They do 38 versions of it. It's great for the DVD extras, but it's not terrific for the film. Now, here's my problem. People love Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell, and they think he's fantastically funny and a great comedian, and there are high hopes for um, this thing he's got coming up, uh, Stranger Than Fiction, which I think he may have talked about when he was on the show the other day. I think his comedy is incredibly broad and incredibly boring most of the time. And with the exception of the character in Zoolander, see, Zoolander was terrific. I did think Zoolander was very funny. And he plays the evil fashion designer in Zoolander who gets the best line in the movie, which is, you know, I feel like I'm taking stupid pills. Does anyone else but me notice he, everything he does is the same move? And in that, he's quite good. But the rest of the time, in Elf, he's incredibly gurning. In Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, he's incredibly gurning. Even in Melinda and Melinda, the Woody Allen film, which everyone said, look, this is where to demonstrate that Will Ferrell is more than just a great big gurning oath. I didn't buy it. And in Talladega Nights, we're right back where we started. It's already taken something like 142 million dollars in the states look cost 72 million dollars where on earth the 72 million dollars went is anybody's guess it certainly didn't go in the script and it's not bad i mean i laughed three or four times i as far as i remember nearly all of those laughs were at sasha baron cohen doing a funny french accent which is not the biggest comedy stretch in the world because let's face it you put on a funny french accent you say something borderline rude it kind of gets a, a sniffle a giggle but i am worried about this because I am worried that more and more great big mainstream Dumbo American comedies are underperforming in terms of delivering the laughs. And we seem to be accepting a kind of low level of humour as what the benchmark should be. I have no doubt whatsoever that next week when we run down the top ten, Talladega Nights will be at number one. Although, of course, when it opened in America... The irony being, you know, he was a man who could only count up to number one. He went in at number two. You know, it was outperformed that's by... The best, that's the second best joke about the movie. Exactly, it? it is. And it was outperformed by Snakes on a Plane, which is the film that everyone went to see because they were told that, hey, it was your opportunity to see the film first because the critics wouldn't see it first. So what you have, as before, Sasha Baron Cohen doing the funniest bit in a movie in which doing the funniest bit isn't really saying that much... Sasha Baron Cohen, incidentally, has got this new movie, Borat, coming yes, which out. which is causing a spot of bother. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I just... I mean, I don't get it. Hey, what do I know? I have no sense of humour, apparently. But uh, anyway, he is the funniest thing in the film. That's not that funny. <laughs>